Hi guys, Claudia Berlin here, and yeah, today I wanted to address some nonsense, really. <laughs> I wanted to address some foolishness, which I have seen online. Um, this is a video linked to bisexuality, but I'm sure it will be of interest to anyone in the community. Now, it's, it's a difficult one to navigate, as I will explain to you right now. So basically, I want to talk about how bi women in the LGBT community can get treated by some, a small portion of lesbians in the community, but it's difficult to talk about because um, I've tried talking about it on Tumblr before and I don't want it in any way to come across as anti-lesbian. I need to make it really clear that this is a small, tiny portion of lesbians. The majority of lesbians I love. I'm all about the solidarity. I really believe that bi women, lesbian women have so much in common and we should be shoulder to shoulder. We should be side by side. Like, we do have slightly different experiences, but, you know, we should be allies in this. So I do not want this to come across as anti-lesbian at all, but I am going to talk about the fact that this does happen in the lesbian community. Again, it's a small part, so I want to be super, super clear about that before we go in. That's very important. So basically the other day, um, I got called a bi hit. A bi hit, yes friends. You might be wondering, what is a bi hit? I've never heard of this before. In which case, lucky you for not hearing that before. But it is in fact um, a name that some particularly nasty members of the lesbian community, just, just the particular nasty ones, um, that's how they refer to, to bisexual women who are attracted to or in relationships with men. You may be thinking, if you're a rational, intelligent human being, how can that make any sense? Because how can a person be bisexual and heterosexual? Is that not contradictory? And if you're thinking that, you would indeed be right. First of all, the term is ridiculous. It makes no sense whatsoever. Just aside from how offensive it is, the term makes no actual sense because you can't be bisexual and heterosexual. They're different things. So I've also noticed, and this is something which, again, is really hard to navigate, and I hope I'm going to do it right in this video, hopefully. Um, so basically, there's this particular type of person in the community who um, I find that <laughs> this is difficult again I'm not trying to say lesbians I need to make totally clear it's a really small percentage most lesbians are not biphobic people but like the small percentage of biphobic lesbians also tend to be I've noticed quite turfy so if you don't know what turf is it's a trans exclusionary radical feminist basically they're just anti-trans people and don't believe trans women are women and don't believe they should be in feminism so obviously that's not something I agree with, but I've noticed that these two particular groups tend to intersect and that can be really hard to talk about if, for example, you are a trans woman or you are a bisexual woman because obviously it's about solidarity and it, I don't want this to come across as, for example, people who aren't in the community. Like, lesbians suffer so much discrimination and oppression and I don't want it, this to come across as anti-lesbian. Like, I keep saying this, but that's because it's so important. It's a tiny, tiny subset, but I don't know how else to discuss it without talking about that group. There seems to be this this idea, this like medieval idea, that any woman that has gone near a penis in their life is somehow dirty to these particular people. And I think that's why it coexists. I think it's why that group exists and why they are transphobic and they're also biphobic. Because you see these same people, they hate a lot of trans women because some of them have penises or had penises at some point. And they also hate bi women because some bi women, not even all bi women, but some bi women have, have gone near a penis at some point. Some, some bi women have had sex and there's been a penis involved. And it's almost like this weird medieval idea that to go near a penis is anti everything we stand for and it's a betrayal and this is so weird to me because this is why i find turfs in general so strange because they say that they're not about oh you know a woman is is more than her genitalia don't reduce me to my genitalia which i completely agree with and then they go and demean other women based on their association with certain genitalia i don't understand how that how that mentality can, like, how can those mentalities coexist? Now I need to be clear here again. Um, there's this idea that, oh, all TERFs are lesbians, and obviously that's not true. There are plenty of straight TERFs. The reason I'm focusing on the lesbian thing is because I'm talking about the intersection of the biphobia and the transphobia together, and that often comes from lesbian TERFs. The reason I'm specifying lesbian TERFs is that we need to acknowledge that TERFs are not all lesbians. Like, this is not an anti-lesbian thing. This is just that particular group. So I'm not going to go super into the trans stuff in this video because I'm a cis woman so I probably don't have like stuff of great value to contribute there but it's something I noticed. This idea of, of women being contaminated by men or by penises which the TERFs associate means for some, you know, because they think penis equals man every time, no exceptions. 
<laughs> they kind of associate it as like this bad thing. There's this attitude that by women are somehow less pure and you also hear this idea um, about a gold star lesbian you hear thrown around um, which is really it's weird it's 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 a gold star lesbian is apparently a lesbian who's never um, had sex with a man uh, which is strange and stri strikes me as odd because because obviously you do have lesbians who have had relationships with men in the past and things like that so that just seems offensive on all counts really but there is this idea of like purity in certain parts of the community and that by women aren't pure because they are attracted to men. So bi het is a term that's being used quite a lot online and yeah it's really it's gaining quite a lot of traction and <laughs> I just question anyone who uses it unironically <laughs> because I mean obviously it makes no sense at all it's so weird. So this can be really hard um, as a bi person and I'm not trying to imply that like being having this kind of stuff thrown at you from lesbians is worse than when it is from straight people because I talk all the time about how a lot of straight people can be extremely homophobic and biphobic um, but it can be really hard, this is a, an experience which is hard to talk about um, as a bi person, it can be hard to have people from your own community being nasty about your uh, sexuality that's, in some, I personally find that harder and you're not supposed to say that but it's true, I, I personally find that um, it was it was a struggle, you know, coming out and coming to terms with it, and I have. And you kind of expect that kind of safety and solidarity in your community. And when your own community then kind of throws it back in your face, to me that feels like a worse betrayal. And I know it shouldn't. I know it shouldn't feel worse. But for me, just personally, it does feel worse. Because these are the people that you think, oh, these people get it. Like, these people have been in a similar position, if not exactly the same. So you think that they'll kind of understand it. And then to have these people throw it back in your face and act like gatekeepers, it's really upsetting. A lot of these posts I'm seeing, because I've, I've looked some of this up, I have, like, I've descended into hell and looked, looked some of this stuff up. And a, a huge reason why, apparently, bi women are so distasteful and, you know, you don't want to be with them is because most of us are liars, apparently, because we say we're bi, and then most of us end up with men, which clearly makes us liars, because <laughs> being bisexual doesn't mean being attracted to two or more genders at all, does it? To start with, being bisexual, like, it's not a choice. You're acting like, like sexuality is a choice in that sense. There's this idea that bi people make a choice if they're going to be heterosexual or if they're going to be gay. That's not what being bi bisexual is. If it was like, if we were heterosexual or we were gay, we would be heterosexual or gay. The reason we're bisexual is that we're not either of those things. And it doesn't matter who we're dating at the time or who we're not dating, we are attracted to same and different genders. Why is it that when a bisexual woman finds a person that she loves and that person is a man, why is that woman then seen as betraying the community? That's literally what being bisexual is. It's not a choice. Like, I, you don't just... You don't choose who you fall in love with <laughs> when you're bisexual. The range of people you're attracted to is slightly different. You don't make a choice. You don't sit there and think, oh, well, what do I want to be for the rest of my life? You know, I think I'll be straight or I think I'll be gay. It doesn't work like that. That's so offensive because sexuality isn't a choice. And also, I think people need to consider that maybe the reason that more bisexual women end up with men in relationships in the end is not because <laughs> we're there to betray women or there to betray the community, but because there's simply more straight men available to us than there are lesbian women or other bi women. Think about the numbers. Obviously, you're going to meet more straight men, so there's going to be more men that you're going to meet. It's not a betrayal. Sometimes it's literally just a numbers issue. Like, you know how hard it can be to meet other LGBT people. Right, so another thing I've heard is um, these particular people saying that, oh, well, bi people, bi women have straight passing privilege, um, which is, is odd to me because doesn't, don't lesbians also have straight passing privilege if for example they're single or they're not with their partner and also is it a privilege to be hidden? Is that a privilege now? Because that really doesn't work does it? Like think about it, it doesn't make any sense. Lesbians can be straight passing <laughs> and it's not a privilege. It's, that's heteronormativity isn't it? Like it's different, that's very different from having privilege, that's a heteronormative society. Something else I see as well um, when I'm online is I see that um, bi women are often treated like, and characters in fandoms as well, because I'm in lots of fandoms, but if there's a bi character, then often if they're with someone of their own gender, then it's like, hooray, hooray, brilliant. And that is brilliant, because that sort of representation is great, and it's lovely to see couples of the same gender together, like, we need that representation. 
but then it also <laughs> but then it starts to get really nasty because if you see that bi character like for example you see like a, a, a male bi character with a, a female character in a romantic relationship or situation you see a lot of people feeling like oh it's just straight now thinking about this okay i can kind of see why in um like fandom and tv representation i can see why that might be a slight issue simply because we want representation and there is already a lot of representation of men and women in couples but it gets really dangerous when it slips into real life and when we start thinking about real life people because real life bisexual people are just people out there living their lives they're not letting people down like a bisexual woman is not letting people down by falling in love with a man she's not letting people down by having sex with a man i find in the community and i'm talking about that minority of like uh kind of rad femi lesbians i hope i'm i don't want to be offensive when i'm saying this but that particular tiny subset i find there's almost a shaming of anyone who goes anywhere near men or anywhere near penises in any way has any association with penises <laughs> it's really bad it's really bad like grown adult people are doing this and just why 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 do people have that much time why do they care so much and to act like bi people are lying they're lying because they say that they like their own gender and then they go then they go and get with someone who isn't their own gender we're called bisexual like you know what the definition of bisexuality is <laughs> that shouldn't be a surprise or a betrayal i've often found like if i express attraction to a man or like a male celebrity as a bi person i get people coming to my tumblr blog accusing me of being straight like it's first of all like it's a terrible thing which it isn't obviously um <laughs> it's like oh i thought you were supposed to be a member of the community oh you're, you're letting us down oh i'm afraid you fancy a man and it's kind of like i'm bisexual i've been upfront about that that's not shameful there's no shame in that the funniest thing is that i'm single at the moment i'm not even in a relationship with a guy i mean it would be nice in the future you know hit me up <laughs> i don't want to be single forever friends um but yeah i still get called a bi -het. I still get called a bi hit and I get treated like I am uh, pretending, like I am a straight girl that just wants attention somehow. Um, sometimes people act like if you're bi and you're a woman, like these people act like you're doing it for men's benefit. And this is what's so weird because these particular people who act like they're so, like their politics is so not surrounded on men, it's supposed to be surrounded on women and uplifting women. And yet it is so obsessed with men and people's relationships with men and acting like essentially what you're doing is, is tearing women down. It's supposed to be about empowering women and loving women. And yet you're, you're literally, <laughs> literally trying to make a woman feel bad for her attraction. Like I think we all acknowledge that sexuality isn't a choice. Your sexuality isn't a choice, no matter what your sexuality is. Why would you, why would you do that? I mean, you know me, I do make jokes about straight people all the time. And usually when I make these jokes, I need to be clear, it's not anti-straight people. It's mostly just flipping like a homophobic joke that you might get and <laughs> just flipping it for comic effect so people think oh wait that's not fair and then it clicks oh wait that's what lgbt people have to deal with so that's kind of the idea but there's never any point in like i wouldn't go and like go after like a straight woman and be like oh i'm afraid i'm afraid you're a bad woman and a bad feminist for going anywhere near a man because i'm actually a normal person and i acknowledge that people's sexuality is, is just their sexuality so although like i i can i can joke about and you know i do i joke about flipping that dynamic and flipping those homophobic ideas but it's not like a serious oh straight women are letting people down my god my god that's terrifying but yeah these particular people act like bi women are doing it just for men and and they're using some they pretend that we're like using lesbians somehow somehow it's this this massive scheme to use lesbians to titillate men and i just who has the time <laughs> who has the time to do that why who can be bothered really and then i see some i see some really weird stuff saying things like Oh, well, a bi het is someone who, that they're bi, but they basically present like a heterosexual woman. And I just think, like, what are you, how can you present like a heterosexual woman? <laughs> like, there's no such thing as what someone who is gay or lesbian looks like and someone who's straight looks like. And these people act like they're so like, oh, we're so progressive. Yeah, we're so fighting the power. And it's like, you're actually, it's like you've done a complete 180 and you're going back again. 
it's weird. Something else I want to talk about is there's this, um, this is, this is actually something which, which can kind of, uh, link to the issue with, with trans stuff as well. Um, and there's been that huge debate, hasn't there, about, um, certain, certain lesbians saying that, oh, they wouldn't date, uh, trans women, um, for whatever reason. And the, the same, these same people often say that they wouldn't date bi women. And I need to be completely clear that that is, it's fine to date whoever you want. No one should ever be pressured to date someone they do not want to date. Like, that's really important. But at the same time, I think it's interesting to examine the ideas behind these things. You know, why do we think like that? I'm gradually turning into a ghost because of the light coming in here, aren't I? Great. But what I've been told before by um, lesbians online, certain small minority of lesbians, is that they wouldn't um, go near me, they wouldn't date me because basically, essentially I'm, I'm tainted by penis. <laughs> I'm tainted by the penis. Um, and I don't even disclose my sexual history, so, you know, maybe I've been near a penis, maybe I haven't. It doesn't matter, like, regardless, you know, a bisexual person doesn't ever have to have been with a man or been with a penis at any time. But apparently, bi people are, are tainted by the penis and they, oh, they wouldn't want to go there because it's gross. And that's their right. It's your right to date whoever you want. But you, like, that is a weird way of thinking, isn't it? Don't you think that's very strange to act like a woman is, is tainted? tainted by men, tainted somehow, it's weird. And again, it's that same thing, isn't it? There's been, there's been a lot of controversy where uh, it's being framed as, oh, trans women are, are making lesbians sleep with them. And I just want to say, first of all, like, regardless of this whole debate, the framing of that debate is disgusting because it's, it's acting like trans women are somehow predators and trying to, like, force lesbians to sleep with them. And can I just say, that's really not what's happening or not what, what that's just not what's going on. Um, what I'm seeing is a lot of trans women saying, right, let's examine, let's examine that mindset. Um, but I'm, you know, the way it's being framed as if it's this some sort of, like, force, it's it's very wrong and to frame trans women in that way is really unhelpful and disingenuous and really dangerous and i kind of lose faith in the in the conversation at that point when people frame it like that because it becomes very clear what it's really about god i just feel like look i might fall in love with and marry a guy at some point in my future i don't know i don't know who i'm gonna meet i might be single i might be single i might not meet anyone i might be with a woman i might be with a man i might be with someone non-binary i don't know that's exciting, but I certainly don't think that it's right that <laughs> should I <laughs> end up with a man, um, certain members of the LGBT community should have trouble with that because look guys, look, us bi people, we're up front, that's why we're bi. <laughs> we're saying, we literally couldn't make it any clearer. We can't be bi heads because we're not heterosexual, we're bisexual. So it's literally part of, of who we are. It's our sexuality that we don't choose. And if we happen to fall in love with someone of a different gender and it happens to be a man, then God, that's literally, the, that's our thing. That's our whole thing. We, we, <laughs> we can fall in love with the same and different genders. And I, I don't know how else to, to talk about this because it's so ridiculous to me that, that people don't get that. But here we are, friends, here we are. I'm attracted to men. I'm capable of being attracted to men. I, I, I am very attracted to certain men, you know? Uh... The interesting thing is, it's always women as well. It's always women that these people go for. It's by women that bear the brunt of this. So how can you be like pro-women and act like, oh, I'm so pro-women, <laughs> when actually you're just reinforcing all these horrible stereotypes about bi women and they're the people bearing the brunt of it. Like, you're actually hurting other women. Anyway, the light is slowly rising, friends. It's slowly turning me completely pale. So I'm going to go before I disappear altogether. I hate the term bi het. Um, you might not have heard of it, and if not, that's really great, good for you, but I'm just alerting you that it's around. Um, it's disgusting. I'm just so tired. I'm so tired of it. And it's, it's something that I feel like I want to talk about, and I've wanted to talk about for ages, but it's really hard, because when you try and talk about it, um, a lot of people will say, oh, well, you're just being lesbophobic. And I kind of feel like, well, no, no, it's, it's not a lesbian, it's not a lesbian thing. Like, yes, it's lesbians that do it, but it's a tiny portion of lesbians that do it. I mean, you're kind of acting like, like, us calling this out is, oh, you're getting at lesbians. But why? That, lesbians aren't like that on the whole. 
There are lovely, lovely lesbians out there who are nothing like that. So don't try and drag every other lesbian down with you if you're one of those really horrible biphobic lesbians. Don't drag everyone else into it because it it's not going to work. Like, we know. When we talk about this stuff, we're not talking about lesbians. We're talking about that particular little tiny, tiny group. And you know the group I'm talking about. Anyway, I hope this isn't going to be really controversial. Like, I feel like... It doesn't feel like it is, but when I've spoken about this before, it kind of has been. So I hope it's okay, and I hope I've I've spoken enough and, and yeah, just explained where I'm coming from with this. I have so much love and respect and support for lesbians out there. Like, lesbians and bi women. We have so much in common. <laughs> like, we are... we're friends. We should be friends. So it's just... Yeah, that's the upsetting thing. It's like, we should be friends. And so many of us are, and then there's this, like, tiny group that's like, oh, let's just... let's separate everyone for no reason. Because purity is... oh, stop, stop. Okay. I love you loads, and I'll see you really soon. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this in the comment section. Um, yeah. Love you loads, and I love my community, and I love bi women, and I love lesbians, but if you're one of those lesbians that uses bi hair, not you. <laughs> I love you, bye.